There is no one worth fighting for more than innocent children. The subject of human trafficking has been at the forefront of conversations during the past month. After the movie Sound of Freedom woke a lot of good people up. We exposed the Democrats here on our last show when we looked at the reasons why they are not supporting anti-trafficking agendas. For more on that story, go see yesterday's show. But the battle for our children is not being fought with just people who want to harm them physically. There is also a battle being fought across America in the classroom, where the liberal agenda continues to push their ideology and they want to be the sole voice in your child's sex education. Today we report on some of the most recent events that have occurred and roll the curtain back on the evil that is actually taking place in public schools. If you have an appreciation for truth and honesty with no spin, you are in the right place. Thank you for being here. You are important to us. If you would like to support our channel, we would greatly appreciate it. Give us a like and a comment, and most importantly, go watch our other shows. Thank you for that. Recently, a federal judge in Indiana ruled that a pro-LGBT teacher, Kayla Smiley, does not have a First Amendment right to push homosexuality on the children in her classroom. Smiley, a public teacher, wants to promote the LGBT agenda in her classroom. James Hanlon, the district judge of the Southern District of Indiana, rejected an ACLU-backed challenge to House Bill 1608. The bill states that no school employee can engage in sex education with any children who are pre-kindergarten through the third grade. Of course, the bill is designed to protect our youngest children in schools. How crazy is it that we actually have to have legislation to protect our innocent children trying to go to school and get an education. If I was the superintendent of a school system and some rogue first grade teacher comes in and goes well beyond the bounds of the curriculum, teaching first graders about transitioning and pedophilia and things like that, I'd fire her myself. Judge Hanlon laid down the law in this case when he said, Miss Smiley cites no authority establishing that an elementary school teacher has the right to speak in her capacity as a private citizen when expressing an educational message to her students. Praise the Lord, we have judges like Judge Hanlon. Parents, we've all got to know what your children's teachers are doing. We can never assume what's happening in today's world. And it doesn't matter to me if the teacher is LGBT or whatever in their personal life, whatever. The moment they go beyond on the curriculum and they try to indoctrinate young children or students at any level. Anybody who is pre-K through 12 should never be done. That is a serious problem. Miss Smiley represents the most dangerous kind of teacher in America today. Going all the way back to 2014, The Guardian reports that liberal Democrats believe that sex education should begin at the age of seven. And you can see their nonsense right here. We believe that by educating children about sex and relationships in an appropriate way, we can help them to make informed choices in their personal lives. Currently, academies and free schools have no requirement to teach sex and relationship education, depriving children of important life lessons. What are these people talking about? These kids are seven years old. Important decisions. I'm seven years old. I want to know what G.I. Joe figure I'm going to have when I get home to play with. That is it. It is not their job to teach those things. Period. The most appropriate way they can educate our child about sex education is to keep their mouths shut. Our friends at Blaze Media report that school districts' new 4th and 5th grade sex ed curriculum uses phrases, boys and people with a penis, girls and people with a vulva, assigned sex at birth. Are you seeing the spin? Let's get into it. So if you're somebody who just flies by the headline, you might have missed it. Boys and people with a penis. Not boys with a penis. Boys and people with a penis, girls and people with a vulva, and assigned sex at birth, which of course means assigned sex at birth, parenthesis, male, which means that person is no longer a male. They were born a male, but now they're something else. This is a great evil in the world today where people just live in fairy tale land thinking they could be whatever they want to be. When I was 12 years old, I thought I was six foot nine, played for the Boston Celtics, and could shoot the three. And then reality set in. This is an example of the kind of evil and wickedness that's happening in schools today, where fourth and fifth graders are being taught that transitioning is something that's natural and normal to everybody. And of course, this goes back to the first segment of our show today, Miss Smiley. People like 
her. You don't know what the teachers are doing. You got to find out. Another one of the most disturbing aspects to this story is that they are actually teaching this curriculum to fourth graders. The Nevada Public School District recently voted to approve this controversial sex education curriculum using this language. In that district, fourth grade students will learn about their bodies, friendships, and puberty. Fifth graders will be taught about liking and loving, puberty, pregnancy, communication, boundaries, consent, and sexual assault. The good people of Nevada better wake up. There's no way my children would ever go there. But it's not all bad news. The Hill reports that boys are trending conservative. There are twice as many senior boys who identify as conservative today than not. And I want to say God bless those young men who see right through all this evil that they have to put up with that gets thrown at them all day long. I want to close today by looking at Proverbs chapter 6, verse 14. Who with perversity in his heart continually devises evil? These people wanted to push their agenda on school-age children, especially elementary school-age children. These people are extremely wicked. They want to destroy America any way that they can. They don't care if our children are harmed and exposed to trafficking around the world, and they definitely don't care if our children are exposed to their sexual orientation psychobabble. I am so glad that you are here with us. Please give us a comment and a like, and most importantly, to support the channel, go watch our other shows. I pray that the good Lord rains down blessings on you and your family, but most importantly, that he draws you nearer to him. All that in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you.